Welcome to the Make It Happen with Will Polston podcast. How I define um, a trigger would be some sort of emotion. It could be a positive emotion or it could be a negative emotion. But I, I refer to sort of what I call the riff symptoms. So stress, overwhelm, frustration, depression, anxiety, unfulfillment, anxiety, all, the, all those negative emotions. But I define those as just simply signals or a signal to get you thinking or acting differently. Is Do you agree? Is that what you, you think as well? I think, yeah, so fundamentally, yes, I've got a slightly different take on things. So I, first of all, I think there are emotions that you feel in the now as a result of something that's happening now. So if you're in a situation, emotions have a purpose and they are to guide us there to let us know when we're moving towards our goals or when we're when we're not, basically. Yeah. That's the point it's of them. Feedback. It's feedback. It's feedback. And they're only at, so it, good emotions, bad emotions. There's no, there's no bad emotions. There's no negative emotions. But what there is, is stuck emotions. And I typically call that trauma just for want of a better word. And I have this really, um, I don't know, a slight and unusual take on how emotions work. So I have this. So here's my, my, my theory. I believe that we are infinite beings and that we have an infinite number of neurological connections in our, in our body. That's not an uncommon belief system. And the idea is that we, that when we're working, like when it's all working optimally, information should just flow through and, and it, and it will flow and we might experience positive and negative, but we'll just feel that as like, it's just information and we won't attach any labels to it. It's just like, oh yeah, that's telling me I'm working. That's, that's working or that's not working. You know, it's like when you're, you know, play that game when you're in it, when you're a kid and somebody hides something in a room and you're walking around looking, they say warmer, colder, like that's all they are. Yeah, There's yeah, no, yeah. they're not good or bad. They're just, that's, that's a colder. great way of putting it. I've never heard that before. We all remember that game that we played. Yeah, it's a yeah. great way of explaining it. Yeah. And that's all they are. So when people go, I just want to feel happy all the time. And it's like, well, actually, no, what you want to do is you want to have really useful working emotions that tell you when you're warmer, colder. Yeah, yeah. The problem is when we feel, even when we're getting what we want and, and we're actually getting what we want and it's working, we still feel bad. Or we try and suppress any bad feelings and pretend it's all working when it's clearly not. Mm. So we kind of do false, false positives. So my theory is that what happens is that, so information, energy, prana, chi, use whatever word you like. The idea is it should flow freely throughout your being. But what happens is in the past, you have some, you, if you have some kind of event, it can create a block or a restriction or a break in your neurology. And here's what I, my take on it is that what happens is energy that, so then you've got this resistance in your neurology, energy tries to flow and you'll have an experience where energy will try and flow, but it will hit the resistance. And then what happens is on one side of that resistance, energy will build up. And on the other side, you'll get what you'll experience as, you know, it's like a depletion. And, and those can be labeled all sorts of things. And, you know, anger, sadness, fear, hurt, guilt, classic ones. And what, so there's two ways that healing that um, can work. So one is what you do is you do some kind of energy work. So there's lots of Reiki, um, uh, EFT, emo trance, that kind of thing. And what you do is you take the, the level that's high and the level that's low and you build this up and you deplete that. So they're in, they're balanced. Yeah. The problem is the resistance is still there. So you feel great. I'm healed. Then a week later, you need to come back for the healing session again, because the resistance is still there. Then the other way that it's approached is by understanding what caused the block. And you may even by getting the learnings and doing NLP and things like that. And, you know, I'm a trainer of NLP is you, you may actually remove the block but the energy imbalance is still there. So what I've done is I created a form of energy here, a form of healing, a form of um, transformation, and it's called conscious emotional transformation. And what it does is pretty much what it says on the tin is, wherever you are conscious of where there's a resistance and you know that because you feel emotion now because of an event from the past. Yeah. And, and that's what I label as trauma, that, that it's created that resistance in your neurology. And what SET does is it removes the resistance, heals those connections, and it floods the system with infinite energy, really high level of energy, so that all the, the imbalances are restored. So it's like a reset. 
I, I absolutely love this. And, and the reason being is that I, I often talk about the one of my frustrations with the work that I do is is so in, in the industry that we're in is a lot of people treat symptoms, right? And the problem is if you keep treating the symptom, the cause is still there, which was that first example that you gave is that, right, well, you go and have your Reiki or whatever, and then uh, and then if, if you've not dealt with the cause, it's still going to come back, right? Yeah. Whereas what you're talking about is treating the cause so that the symptoms go and, and doing, I, I love that very simple way of, uh, of, of understanding that. And I, it makes perfect sense to me. And I'm sure it will do to, to many, many listeners here. You can find the full episodes of the Make It Happen with Will Polston podcast here on YouTube, on iTunes, Spotify, and all other major podcast platforms. 